Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using images on your website. One of the most common things people want to do when they have a website is put images up there. And so today I'm going to show you the basics of working with images. We can talk about resizing images and basically just placing them on our HTML pages. So I'm going to create an image tag down here. And an image tag is basically just less than sign IMG. And inside this image tag, we actually have to give it a couple pieces of information. The first thing we want to give this image tag is the location of the image that we want to show. So when you have this image tag, you have to basically link it to an actual image and then the HTML will be smart enough to go grab that image and then place it on our website. So I can just say source SRC is equal to and then these quotation marks. And inside of these quotation marks, we want to put the location of the image. Now, one of the most basic ways to do this is to link to an image that's on the internet. So there's a lot of images on the internet, obviously, and we can actually just put the address for an image inside of this source tag and it'll link us to that image. So over here in my browser, I just have some pictures of dinosaurs and there's a bunch of dinosaurs here. Um, here's like a T-Rex, like really scary. So I can just view this image and you can see up here that this image has like an address associated to it, right? So this image is like, you know, obviously it's like this crazy address, but I can copy the address to this image and then I can just paste it onto this source attribute. So I can just paste that bad boy right in here and we got this awesome image. And so when we want to use an image, uh, in addition to specifying the source, I can also specify one more attribute, which is called alt. And the alt attribute is basically what's going to show up if the image can't be found. So one of the problems that sometimes you'll run into when you're making your HTML is that an image that you're linking to is like either deleted or it's not there or it can't be loaded by the browser. So for example, if this image of the scary dinosaur ever like disappeared, like if that person took it off of their website, then it wouldn't show up anymore. And so we have this alt tag as like a backup. So whatever text you put inside this alt tag will show up if the image doesn't show up. And also it's a good practice always to just have an alt tag. And you wanna make this like maybe one sentence that's like pretty descriptive. So I could just say like a really scary dino. And now this is like describing the image in sort of like plain text. So always want to make sure you have an alt tag. And when we have an image, it's just going to be a single tag. So a lot of times in HTML, we'll have like two tags, like a starting tag and an ending tag, and we'll put some stuff inside of there. Not the case with an image. We can just do this forward slash and we can do a greater than sign. And now the tag is going to be done. So it's just a single image tag, just like this. And obviously it's a pretty long URL. Now what this should do is it should go out, grab this image and display it on our website. And that's exactly what happened. So this dino is actually like pretty big. You can see um, super scary, but now we have this image on our website so we can link to this image. Another thing that we can do is link to images that are on our actual computer. So instead of linking to an image that's on the internet, I can just link to an image maybe that I have like, you know, for myself. So I'm going to get rid of this source here and I have this image on my little file tree over here. It's just this cute cat and I can actually take this cat picture and insert it into my website just like I did with that picture from the internet. So inside the source, I'm just going to link to the image of the cat. So it's just going to be cat.jpg and now I'll change the alt. So we can just change it from like a really scary dinosaur to a really cute cat. And when I refresh my page, we'll have the cat picture. So one of the problems that you might be noticing with the dinosaur picture and now with this cat picture is that they're kind of big, right? Like this is kind of like a big image and especially that dinosaur picture that was huge, took up like the entire screen. So one of the things you can do with images is resize them and we can give this image tag a couple more attributes. So in addition to defining the source, and defining the alt text, we can also define a width and a height. And the width and the height will control the size of the image. So I can give this a width, you know, I could say, actually it's gonna be equal to, and we can say maybe like 100 and we can give it a height and this will be 100, right? So we'll kind of shrink it down a little bit. 
And these like 100, what that means is 100 pixels. A pixel is a unit of measurement that we can use in HTML, basically like defines sizes. And a pixel is kind of hard to explain like how big it is because it's not a standard unit. In other words, a pixel could be a different size depending on the resolution of the screen that you're looking at. So 100 pixels, you know, for the most part, it's gonna be kind of the same distance on most web pages, but it's not like an absolute distance of measurement, like a centimeter or an inch. So just keep that in mind. So I can say 100 pixel width and 100 pixel height. And now when I refresh my page, the cat is a little bit smaller, right? So we can see it a little bit better. But we have another problem, which is that the cat looks horrible, right? I mean, it's kind of like smushed in a little bit. And you'll notice if I get rid of this width and the height that I'm actually changing the aspect ratio of the image. So now I refresh this, you see the image is actually like wider than it is tall. So when you're defining a different width and a height for an image, you wanna be sure to keep the same aspect ratio. And what you can do is you can figure out what the aspect ratio of your image is. So over here in this cat.jpg, you can see down here that the aspect ratio for this image is 300 by 200. So it's like 300 pixels by 200 pixels. So it has like a, so it has a 300 by 200, uh, you know, aspect ratio or whatever. And we can just keep that same aspect ratio inside of our width and our height. So I'm gonna put these back in. So if it's 300 by 200, we could make it um, 100 by 66, and this should give us the correct like aspect ratio, right? Because that's the same ratio as 300 to 200. So now when I resize the image, it looks great, right? It's just, this, it's a little bit smaller, but it's the same dimensions, like it's the same aspect ratio. So that's kind of how you can resize your images. And you can also use other things with images. So I could combine this image with a link, for example. So I could come over here and we could create a link tag and we can just say A and we'll give this an href. And inside here, I could put like whatever link that I wanted to. For So for example, I could link this to like this dinosaur picture, right? I could put the URL for the dinosaur in there and we can close off this link and now when I click on the image, it'll bring me to that picture of the dinosaur. So you can make these images like clickable. You can really do a lot of stuff with these images and you can embed them inside of other HTML tags. So I could put like an image inside of other HTML tags. You know, you can put them anywhere you want and images are super powerful and you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that you use them on your website. And you always wanna make sure that you include this alt attribute. This is really important. A lot of people get lazy and they don't put it in there, but it's really important. And for example, if I was to get rid of this cat.jpg here in the source, you'll see that now what it does is it just gives me that alt text. So it's really important just so your website kind of stays together um, in the case that an image link is broken. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.